Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Sag, for the week of October 31st, right into November. All right, let's get a Moon Oracle card for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. A time for healing. Oh, look how beautiful that is with all those purples. A time for healing. That's a worldwide message. <laughs> and don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So, yeah, maybe you got to let your guard down in order to have this healing come in. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get you an animal spirit. What kind of animal spirit is walking with Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Oh, look at this with the hummingbird. Oh, and the stingray. Yeah, talk about healing, healing those chakras. You see the chakra colors in the, around the hummingbird and right through the stingray. So meditate on your chakras. Really find some kind of clearing, some kind of cleansing through the chakra meditation. There's all kinds on YouTube that you can listen to to really clear that out, clear any blockages out here. Because you're ready to fly. You're ready to sing. You're ready to, uh, yeah, to go, ready to go with all that kind of nervous energy coming in. Oh, and the vulture. Look at this. Time to pick away that past, Sagittarius. That is beautiful. It is time to pick away at it. Just really discard it. Let it go. Let all the garbage go and keep the lessons here. Love that. All right, let's get you an Osho Zen Tarot card for Up in the Ether for Sagittarius adventure look at this i love this that is the page of pentacles card but look at the adventure you're about to go on again with all of the rainbow colors the chakra colors <laughs> i love this it's like you're walking through this cleansing it's almost like a chakra car wash right just walking through it and letting it go and picking up on this new adventure sense to you. I feel like that's why you're the hummingbird here with that nervous energy, like you're about to embark on this great adventure. Oh, look at this on the bottom, receptivity. That is the page of cups here. Wow, you are open to receiving here. Look at that, that is beautiful. Open to receiving peace with that lotus flower in there as well. But yeah, some kind of adventure. You're feeling very childlike when you think about this adventure you're about to go on. It really makes you happy and excited. Just kind of pick away at that past so that you can really move on from it and let it go. All right, let's find out what's in the mind space for Sagittarius, King of Pentacles. Look at how beautiful that is sitting in some solid energy. You've prepared for this adventure. You've planned for it. You know where that you're going here. That's beautiful. You have this goal in mind and nothing is going to stop you in your mind space. Let's see what else. What else are you thinking about, Sagittarius? Oh my God, the page of Pentacles too. This definitely has to do with a new start in money, a new feeling of balance when it comes to money and Standing on your own, you did this, Sagittarius. You did this. You found this balance by picking away that past. I feel like you've already done that. And now you're just kind of rising above anything, any traumas, anything that's held you back here. You've gained some kind of balance here. The rainbows come out for you and you are just ready to walk through that portal here. I can just see you walking through this portal. What else? What else? Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> <laughs> work, 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 work. Sad you are all about work right now, but you are planning for some kind of great adventure when it comes to money, some kind of money making uh, business or idea or a uh, new job or new job position or just something new that really sparks your fire here. It really is getting you feeling like you've got this, like you've got a grip on it. You've got a handle on it. Even though you're very busy, I can see you're multitasking. You're getting a lot done, but you can do that because you found the balance here. You're not just um, praying and wishing and, and wanting things to change. You are actively making things change here. Wow. Love this. What else? What else in the mind space? Justice. Victory is yours. <laughs> if you've been in any kind of money battle here, Sagittarius, if you've been 
uh, really feeling in lack or that people have taken from you or that you have put in much more effort than you've been paid for. You're about to have that all changed around here this week. You are getting justice. You are getting your victory when it comes to money. This is all about money on the mind space here on your mind and you're getting some kind of victory and it allows you to go on some kind of grand adventure here. God, I love this. I love this. It's going to allow you to heal so many things, not just money worries, or it just allows you to heal your heart, your mind, your soul, your body. It's just really a time for healing here and finding balance. Look at the balance with the justice and the page of pentacles. I mean, it's, it just doesn't get any more balance than this. All right, the heart space. What are you feeling, Sagittarius? What are you feeling? What is Sagittarius feeling here? Let's see. Oh my God, judgment, another major arcana here. So you are calling out that past. You are picking away at it and taking the lessons and leaving the trauma behind. It just was too, way too difficult. So you just kind of pick and chose what you wanted to take with you on this journey. What can come with you onto this new adventure and what has to stay behind here with the vulture. And you've done a very, very good job of it. You've had these awakenings, these truths come out of, uh, yeah, of, that helps you gain this balance of what was yours to own and what was theirs. It was like you drew this very solid line. This is mine to have. This is yours to have. And I will not take this with me. You got very, very strong after some kind of uh, battle here. It seems like it, it came down to money here where you were walking this very fine line. You did not know how you were going to make it. And then all of a sudden these truths started coming out for you that, um, that some things were not your fault. Some things were absolutely not your fault. It was just the way of the world. It was the way of the times here. So it was bigger than you. And you're starting to understand that things that happened in the past were bigger than you. And that's very soothing to your mind and your heart here because it takes some of the responsibility off of you. And it allowed you this freedom in your mind space here to take control of your life and take control of your path here and your journey. You let others have their path and journey. So if you've lost things, lost people in the past, you've come into this understanding that that was their journey, that was their karma, that was their um, path, and you have your path. So don't, you're not wasting your your time here so worried about what everyone else was doing and where everyone else was going. You just really took control here of your own of your own journey, and you're using the law of attraction to bring in this balance. Now you have this real sense of balance now. And you got your footing back. That's all you needed was to get your footing back. You're a lover of animals. I can see that with the King of Pentacles. That dog is just won't leave my, my vision here. So animals are automatically drawn to you and attracted to you. They're feeling your vibration. That's what that is, Sagittarius. They can feel you. And they see right through any kind of mask or anything. So they're, they're just drawn to you. Oh, look at this with the Nine of Swords. It's been so tough. It's been such a hard journey here because of loss here and grieving and sorrow. And it's just been really, really hard. I think that's why Spirit is opening this portal of adventure here for you, Sag, to help you heal. You are here to heal and be joyful and have fun and um, be, be in your own power here, stand in your own power here. So it is time to let go of some of this grief. I think that's why the vulture is here to kind of pick away at it and to leave behind the memories of the happy times, the good times, the feeling of security and, um, solidness. Yeah. You're coming into a real, a much more solid time here, a, a cycle here that is going to help you really ease those, those uh, hurts, those traumas, really come in and ease those traumas. Yeah, look at this with the moon here too, this moon confusion energy. It's been cloudy. It's been really difficult to find your way here. But boy, you started thinking different thoughts here. You started uh, changing the, the rules here for yourself. And it's like, you know what? I, I can't just keep saying I can't see. It's like you're driving in the car up this mountain road and you're looking in the rearview mirror at all times at what's happened, of who you've lost, of who's been passing by, of who you just drove past here and you didn't pay attention to and now they're gone. And you're just looking in the rearview mirror and you're saying, you know, I can't see, I can't see. And spirit is just saying, look out the windshield though, Sagittarius, look ahead of you, look in front of you, what is coming for you. And it brings in some really great healing. It's, it's allowing you to let go of those things that have just 
um, gone by that you didn't really have a chance to reach out and grab or stop and, and pick up those, those people. So it's really allowing you to heal now. It's time to heal now, Sagittarius. What else? What else in the heart space for Sagittarius? Lots of major arcana, and I love the, um, oh, look at this, the Six of Pentacles. There's that reciprocity in money. It's been a battle with money. It's been a battle with people. It's been a battle uh, at work, too, as well. So finally, some reciprocity. I see that eight behind the Six of Pentacles here, that, that giving and receiving. It's real, real clear now that you are receiving now. It's time for you to receive now. You've given, you've given, given, given. You've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight behind the Six of Pentacles here. So it, it's just this karmic thing. It's just this spiritual thing that you had to go through in order to come out the other side of it. You can't see joy and peace and stability and um, harmony without going through this this kind of dark night here without experiencing the things you've experienced. So every single experience brought you to this point of rec reciprocity here. The angels are saying it's now time to receive those Sag. It's now time to receive. It's, it's okay to sit in peace and silence and not have to relive any kind of traumas or any kind of things that happened in the past. It's time to let go of that. So, wow, so beautiful. I really, really love this, Sag. What is in the foundation for you? Ace of Pentacles. I know this. Yep. <laughs> of course it is because you have worked so very hard for the stability and this solid feeling of yours. So look at how hard you have worked. I mean, it's just not been easy. This has not been an easy journey. I can absolutely see that, but it is time to have some ease and flow come into your life. It's time to lift up those paddles from the boat here from the river of life and just let it take you. Just let it be, Sag. Just let it be and get out of your mind too. Don't go up in your head about everything that's happened. Don't relive any past traumas. That's not going to bring you any strength right now. It's just going to bring you back into sorrow here. So do not do that. Do not go back into the past and relive any moment, any kind of hard moment that you had to go through. It's time to put that aside and remember the good times. Remember why you why you were there in the first place, what that brought to you and the, and the, uh, the lessons from it and the love from it. There's so much love here coming from, from your past here. I know there's a lot of sorrow. I know there's a lot of trauma here, but it is time to enjoy your life now. Enjoy your life path now. Take that control back. Take that balance back to yourself. Give that gift to yourself here and you're going to thrive. You are absolutely going to thrive when you walk through this portal here, when you walk through into this new adventure of yours. <laughs> Love it. I love it. Do not get up in your head. Don't second guess yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Six of swords. Look at this. I love this. You are truly moving on. Now the blindfold has been removed from you. You are allowing spirit to move you forward into this next cycle, into this next day, clears up the moon confusion. It clears up the grief here and the sorrow, and it just allows you to move on. You are different now. You have matured now. You have really grown and elevated through some things here. So that look at that choppy waters you are coming from, but the waters are smooth ahead of you. You've been through it. You've already experienced these hard times. There's no reason to keep going back and visiting them. It's time to visit the other side of that. Now the joy of this, now the, the happiness and, um, real passion that's coming to you. You've got a real spark of passion coming to you and nothing's going to stop you. I can just see, I feel this determination from you that by God, I'm going to get through this. And not only am I going to get through this, I'm going to, I'm going to thrive. I'm going to thrive and get my, my passions back, my, my goals back, my dreams back. I've been sitting in grief and sorrow for far too long now. Now it's time for me and for me to have this fulfilling journey that I deserve. That's what I'm here for. Look at the nine of pentacles. This is your independence. This is you gaining independence. Oh, look at this and walking away right into healing with the Queen of Wands under there too. Sagittarius, this is beautiful. Look at the sunrises coming from, see how dark these look. It looks like you've just been through this really, really hard time here. It could have lasted eight years with the two eights here, but regardless, it took your breath away. It knocked you to your knees. It was, it was hard. It was difficult. It was like the Buddha going up the mountain on his knees and crawling towards salvation here. It's kind of feels like what you've been through, but look at where you're heading. Look at the sun, look at the connection and the brightness and the independence and the, 
the happiness. Look at the happiness and joy that is just really waiting for you here. So, God, I love this. I'm really loving this. You're going to have to give me a, give me, a, leave me a comment. Let me know if this is resonating with you at all, but you've got some real independence and joy coming to you. A new adventure, a new day here. You're looking through the windshield now. You are not looking in that rear view mirror anymore. You're done with that. It's, it's time to move on. It's time to move out and move forward. King of Swords on King of Pentacles. Look at this real solid communication coming to you. King of Swords is uh, can be a little cutting, but is so honest and clear and uh, says what he means and means what he says. He he doesn't mess around. He's a he's an air sign. He's a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and just real solid with his words. Doesn't just uh, say things to say things. King of Swords uh, says things that he means and wants you to hear, wants you to receive. Nine of Pentacles. Look at more solid energy coming toward you. Two Nine of Pentacles. There's some independence. So if you're with someone, if you have a partner right now, they're coming into some real strong independence. They are very clear with what they're saying. They're very clear with what they want. They know what they want and they're going for it. They are going for it. You are both reaching for what you want here. You're both reaching for your own independent goals together here. So how beautiful is that? Two people reaching for their own independence, their own um, joys and happiness here, but they're in a partnership coming together here. Queen of Wands. I love this energy coming at you, Sagittarius. Very solid, very inspired action here. This Queen of Wands wants to go on this adventure here with you, wants to take this little trip through the unknown here with you and is ready. She's very spiritual. She's got the black cat. People used to be terrified of black cats and the Queen of Wands, uh, uh, brings them in, loves the black cats, loves all creatures, loves mother earth, loves mother nature, understands the adventure that mother nature can bring to us and the uh, security and strength that mother nature can bring to us. The queen of wands is very adventurous. <laughs> oh my God. In the four of wands, the marriage card, the 11, 11 card. Wow, you've got some really good energy coming toward you here. The finish line, the victory dance, the uh, happiness moment, the I did it. Yes, the yes moment. <laughs> I love that. What's in the heart space of those surrounding Sag here? Oh my God, the Ace of Swords. More clear, clear communication and offers and new beginnings here when it comes to words and when it comes to soothing you and um, really being there for you and having your back and supporting you and defending you. There's a defense here that no one can break here. It's like, I've got Sagittarius's back and I'm not going to let anyone hurt Sagittarius again. They, this person really, really defends you at all times. You've got a warrior here and the magician on the, so they're going to create this new beginning for you. They're going to help you bring some peace into that sorrow, some peace into the trauma here. The magician is the first card of the uh, major arcana right after the fool, which is zero. And the, the fool runs into the magician first and the magician says, which journey would you like? It's a brand new cycle. Would you like the, the journey of emotions with the cups? Would you like the journey of the tangible with the pentacles? Would you like the journey of communication with the swords? Or would you like the journey of adventure with the wands? And now it's up to you and this person here. They're holding up all signs here and they are the ace of swords bringing you a brand new beginning. So yeah, they're asking you, Sagittarius, which journey do you choose? And I will go with you. And I want to be with you for this journey. So how beautiful is that? The sky is the limit now. The sky is the limit. Oh my goodness, the two of wands. There's you preparing and them preparing for this new adventure here. So some kind of travel coming in. They're offering you some kind of travel. They're saying, let's get out of here. Let's go for a road trip. Let's go for a, a weekend getaway. Let's just do something different than what we've been doing. They want something different here with you. And they want to start celebrating. They want to get to that finish line of the past here. They want to put closure on this past here. They just want to see you move forward into this next cycle, which is exactly what you're doing here. So yeah, this is a beautiful energy surrounding you. I love, love, love this energy surrounding you. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Again, I love this energy surrounding you. You've got a friend. <laughs> You've got a friend. I'm hearing James Taylor in my mind, Sagittarius. You've got a friend and <laughs> they want this 10 of cups. They want this happiness. They want to see you joyful here. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Oh my God, and the fool, look at this. They are the, the courant here is the fool's journey here. They want a do-over. They want to start over. They want a new beginning with money, with words, with communication. They don't want to keep commiserating about the past. They want to move forward into this happiness, into this happy home. Look at the rainbows here for you. My God, Sagittarius, I love all these rainbows here for you. It's like Finally, you can see the rainbow after the storm here. So deserving. You just, I'm just so happy that this rainbow has come for you and this fool energy has come for you. I'm so happy to see this. It's just a brand, brand new beginning for you. Knight of Cups, look at this. The cup of love is offered. The cup of love from the armored knight uh, coming in to um, just offer you love. They just have so much love for you. I really love this person. They just care about you so much. I love cups on the six of swords here. So some things were said in the past. Some things were done in the past. This person does have a little bit of guilt over that, but boy, they've gained enlightenment over it. They may have had a little glitch there where they weren't quite sure, or they were kind of second guessing this relationship. And now it's just no guessing about it. They know that you are their rainbow. You are their fool. You are their a new adventure here and there's just no second guessing themselves any longer so there may have been a little glitch there may have been a little glitch in the matrix there for a minute with this person oh my god and look at this with archangel michael and temperance sagittarius there is your card there you are showing up in your own reading with all of your glory here and replenishing this person is really really replenishing your cup here no matter what you're expending here, Archangel Michael is always there to refill your cup, to refill your heart here, especially sitting on the Ace of Cups. I mean, look at, look at this beautiful energy, Archangel Michael, just replenishing your heart here, just giving you your heart's desire. Boy, anything you want now, Sagittarius, anything you want, anything you can dream of is possible here. So absolutely a time of healing of the past here. Do not look back. Do not keep going over anything that has happened in the past. It's time to get the lesson out of that and move out of the sorrow, move out of the angst here and into the rainbow stage, the adventure. You've got such a great adventure coming for you. So absolutely beautiful. Don't forget to cleanse those chakras. Do some chakra meditation again on YouTube. They have all kinds of meditation videos to cleanse the chakras. So definitely do that. And page of cups, this person just has offer after offer of love toward you. So I absolutely love that. All right, Sag, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And I will definitely tune in with you soon. I hope you have a fantastic week.